Now, you can use unlimited Flux AI for free, without needing to install anything on your local computer or going through a lengthy process. You can access it immediately through a web interface, completely free of charge. Let me show you how. The Pick Lumen has introduced amazing features, including the Flux AI, their latest model for generating images, image-to-video conversion, image painting, consistent character generation. Additionally, you can create images in diverse styles, including anime, realistic, line art, and artistic styles. We will explore all these features and compare them with Midjourney. To use Flux AI on your PC, after creating an account on the Pick Lumen website, you need to click on the Launch App button to continue. This is the interface of the Pick Lumen image generator. As you can see, they have provided options to produce realistic images, anime-style images, line art, and more. First, we are going to try their Pick Lumen realistic model. In the realistic model, you can see on the left side an option to upload an image for reference. I'm going to upload an image now. Here, choose a file from your PC and there you go. This is the image of a girl that we have selected. Now, click on this image and it will ask a few questions such as whether it is a content reference, style reference, or character reference. For character reference, you can provide this image and the AI model will produce a similar character based on the uploaded image. For style reference, you can choose the style. Here, you can see the girl is just standing and smiling. For now, I'm going to choose the character reference. You can also select the strength, which determines how strongly you want your character to incorporate the features of your reference image. I have chosen a strength of 0.5. Let's give a prompt like a girl with long black hair, standing in a jungle wearing a blue dress. After entering the prompt, there is an option to choose the resolution of the image you're going to produce. I'm going to select the default ratio option. You can choose the number of images you want to generate, with up to four image generation options available. I'll select four images and click on the Generate button. In just a few seconds, the output appears. A perfect, realistic image of a girl standing in the jungle, wearing a blue dress with long black hair. The quality and details of the image produced are impressive. You can see the prompt, the selected model, and options to download the image, remix, remove the background, upscale, in-paint, expand, or delete the image. Let's choose the in-paint option. After selecting the pixels, you can enter a prompt to highlight the area for changes. For example, let's change her black hair to red. You can roughly select the hair area and submit the changes. The result is remarkable. The girl now has red hair instead of black, showcasing the effectiveness of the in-paint function. Now, let's explore another model, the Flux AI. Before proceeding, we'll visit the Hugging Face website to generate Flux prompts. It's a straightforward process. On the Hugging Face site, you'll find the Flux prompt generator, where you can select various settings such as character details, scene details, styles, and artists. You can also customize your input prompt by writing a basic idea of the image you want to generate, including the character's gender and photography type. In the camera style, I'll select the straight on option. There are additional options for character details, scene details, styles, and artists, allowing for a more detailed prompt. Once I've selected the elements I want to include, I'll click on Generate Prompt with LLM, and it will start processing. In just a few seconds, you can see the output prompt. This is the detailed prompt. A determined, raven-haired warrior girl of East Asian descent with warm golden-brown skin. These are the additional details it has included. I'll copy this prompt and paste it into the tool. First, I'll select the Flux 1 Schnell model, then paste the prompt I copied from the Flux prompt generator. Next, you can select the images. I've selected three images and clicked on the Generate button to continue. Here are the images it generated. You can clearly see the girl of East Asian descent with raven black hair and distinct features matching the prompt. She looks like a warrior, and the picture quality is truly impressive with stunning details. The software has the potential to produce high-quality images, comparable to Midjourney. We can compare the images to those from Midjourney, and the level of detail is remarkable. I'm truly amazed with this tool, especially the Flux One Schnell model, which is free. Unlike Midjourney, which has paid plans, this software allows you to generate incredible images for free at a similar quality. Let's try another prompt. A beautiful Chicano-style woman with her finger to her lips. I'll input this into the Flux model. The realism in the images makes it hard to believe they are AI-generated. The details, such as the wrinkles on her face, make the image even more lifelike. I absolutely love this software and this model. To show a comparison, I generated the same prompt using Midjourney. The Chicano-style woman with her finger to her lips looks almost identical in both models. The best part is that Flux is free, and you can generate unlimited images without any cost. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left is the image generated by the Flux model, and on the right is the one generated by Midjourney. Both images, created from the same prompt, are stunning and nearly identical in quality. Now, let's test it again with a different prompt. I'll write a new one, adding some dress details. A beautiful woman with platinum blonde hair, wearing an asymmetrical dress, one side pink, 
the other side green. This will be a fun prompt to see how it handles the dress details. You can see the beautiful woman, realistic looking. It doesn't even appear like it's AI. The images are kind of realistic, and the details are amazing. From one side, it's pink, and from the other side, it's green with different dress designs in each picture. What I love about this tool is the consistency of characters. In each image, the face remains similar, and the dress details are preserved. I truly love this. We have generated the image with this prompt in the Flux 1 model, and I'm showing you the images one by one. You can clearly see the quality of the image and the details it has added. Everything about the software is impressive, and the best part is that it's free to use. Now let's try another prompt. In mid-journey you can see I have written the prompt, and it has produced some images. The only difference is that Flux 1 uses bright colors, while mid-journey uses light shades of both colors. Now let's compare, on the left side you see the images generated using the Flux 1 model, and on the right side, the images generated using mid-journey. There isn't much difference, and I'm loving the Flux model. You should definitely try it. In terms of quality, both models are similar, and the appropriateness according to the prompt is impressive. Instead of using mid-journey which has basic and standard plans, Flux 1 is currently free to use, and you can generate as many images as you like. So, give it a try. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them all.